the ambitious economic goals unveiled during the opening of China's ceremonial parliament. It's a chance to project confidence amid a host of challenges. Premier Li Chang announced an economic growth target of about 5 percent, matching last year's figure. Achieving these targets this year is not an easy task. It requires focused policies, doubled efforts in work, and concerted efforts from all sides. Chinese leaders have overseen some of the country's slowest growth in decades as they deal with a real estate crisis and slowing foreign investment. But at this choreographed meeting, the mood is upbeat as China's political elite endorsed the Communist Party's plans. One of the main goals of this meeting is to reassure foreign investors who have a lot of questions about China's economy. But the lack of a press conference afterwards may leave a lot of those questions unanswered. For decades, China's premier answered media questions at the end of this gathering. Now, that event has been canceled. It is a window of opportunity for international media to get access to insights by the premier himself. Therefore, the cancellation of the presser became a disappointment uh, for uh, many members of the uh, international uh, media community. In fact, uh, many are, are, are shocked. As he consolidates power, Chinese President Xi Jinping has emphasized national security. That has spooked some foreign companies. But investors will be encouraged if China meets this year's economic growth target, says Lim. Because last year it was also 5%. So two years of 5% would mean that uh, there is a, a, a sustain a recovery from uh, corona compared to 2022, uh, which was uh, 3%. Uh, so this is the image uh, that uh, you know the Chinese government wants to portray. China has also announced it will boost defense spending by about 7%, well above its economic growth target. Later this week, Chinese leaders are expected to discuss foreign policy and other issues amid increased security at Tiananmen Square and across the capital. Bill Gallo, VOA News, Beijing.